watching God's Word for You Today program, an online Bible teaching ministry of Maranatha Baptist Church, Villamonte, Bacolod City, Philippines. This program is designed to make the time-tested, solid Word of God relevant to your life's need today. God's Word for You Today is found in Wisdom cries without. She uttereth her voice in the streets. She crieth in the chief place of concourse. In the openings of the gates, in the city, she uttereth her word, saying, How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity? And the scorners delight in, in their scorning, and fools hate knowledge. Turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you, I will make known my words unto you. Because I have called and you refuse, I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. But you have set at naught all my counsel and would none of my reproof. I will also laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. When the fear cometh as desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, then distress and anguish cometh upon you, then shall you then shall they call upon me, and I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. For that they hated knowledge, and did not choose the fear of the Lord. They would none of my counsel, they despise all my reproof. Therefore shall they eat of the fruit of their own way, and be filled with their own devices. For the turning away of the simple shall slay them, and the prosperity of the fools shall destroy them. But whoso hearkeneth unto me shall dwell safely, and shall be quiet from fear of the fear of evil. As we know that the book of Proverbs can be divided in particular topics. Kag sa previous nga simana sa pagtuon makuturan sa book of Proverbs, we actually studying uh, in the topic of wisdom. Kag in particular passage nga itong pagkatunan sa nga adlaw mga kauturan, it is all about the call of wisdom. And there are four things that we can learn from this passage. Number one, godly wisdom calls all people. Sin o bala ang ginalambot, ang ginatawag sa Diyos nun nga kaalam. So no, sa verse 20 mga kauturan, she said, Wisdom crieth without, she uttereth her voice in street, she cried in the chief place of the concourse, she, in the openings of gates, in the city, she uttereth her voice. Ang buto lingon sini that wisdom calls the common people in their way of living. Amo nang may reference sa streets dira. That's the place ng common people nga nagaagi, a place where the public are going are going through. Makauturan ang pagmention dire sa chief places, kag opening of gates refers naman to the chief places where chief personalities are gathered. So hindi lang common people ang gintawag sa wisdom. Also, the wisdom is calling the chief personalities in their high places. Secondly, godly wisdom challenges those without wisdom. In verse 22, ging mentioned na ang word na simple. Now, how long the simple ones uh, will ye love simplicity? So, dali ang unang nga challenge sa wisdom, mga kautoran, si challenge sa simple. Magsaling ka simple, it means seducible. These are the people who without a strong foundation of belief. These are the people or the person that can be seduced by any kinds of words until when you remain unfounded. These are the people who, who has no foundation in their belief, mga kautulan. Ikaduwa, challenge dila sa wisdom, she challenges the scorners. Ang scorners, as we know, these are the people who mocked the truth. Ang muna mga tao wala kahadlog sa Diyos, wala ka regard sa kamaturan sa Diyos, and they mock the truth of God. So, niya, until when you love, you delight in that scorning. And number three, wisdom challenges the fools. The fools here nga refers to mga person who hates or unlove the knowledge. When I say knowledge of God, no matter the fools hate knowledge, I refer to what? I refer to the godly information, the truth that God revealed to the people. So, ang fools, akig. They unlove the knowledge, the information that God has given them. So, He challenged them until when you remain in that kind of position. So, and lastly, she challenged them to turn to her reproof. 
Rambo niya, turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you. So she challenged, she challenged them. Wisdom challenges them to, to turn to her reproof so that they will experience the fullness of her influence in their lives. Number three, godly wisdom cautions those who reject her. Ano hambal niya? No? So verse 24, as you, as you continue to, to, to read this, no? Ambal niya, because I have called and you refuse, I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. So, ang ipakita, Andre, ang wisdom, wala nagauntat sa iyang pag-reach out, wala nagauntat sa pagpanawag niya sa mga katawahan, but the, these people, they refuse at her. No? She tried to reach them out and they disregarded her. So, anong matabo? Anong response niya? So, in this, in this case, she will respond in these following ways in their evil experiences. So, kay ging disregard nyo ang wisdom, ging, uh, ging refuse nyo ang pagpanawag sa wisdom, so ambal niya, no? I will laugh at your calamity, I will mock when your fear cometh, when, when your fear cometh as desolation and your destruction cometh as well when, when distress and, come, and anguish come upon you, you will call upon me, I will not answer, you will seek me early, you will not find me. Because you hated knowledge and choose not to fear the Lord. So, simply makakotol ang yambal na dali. No, here, nagapanawag ang godly wisdom. People refuse. Nagapanawag, ang, nagarish out ang godly wisdom. Wala aging sapak. Ang counsel, wala aging sapak. Ang tanan nga maayong nga beneficyo sa godly wisdom. Wala aging baton sa katawahan. So, when evil, when evil experience would come, this is how godly wisdom responds. Makakotolan, wala hindi siya mag-response sa pagpanawag sa mga malaot ng mga tao. They choose, they, they choose not or they choose not to fear the Lord. They would none or they would not receive or accept my counsel. They despise all my reproof. So, no, sa hambal niya din makauturan. So, what would happen to them? They will eat the fruit of their own way. They will be filled with their own devices. The turning away the simple shall slay them and the prosperity of the fools shall destroy them. That's the consequences by rejecting godly wisdom. Then lastly, godly wisdom confides those who listen to her. On the other hand, kung amuna ang response niya sa mga sa experiences ng malaot o kalainan sa mga nag-reject sa iya, in the last verse, he gives confidence and promise to those who would listen, hearken to her. May duha dara makuturan kabagay ngayong hambal dara. Hambal niya, those who hearken unto me shall dwell safely and they shall be quiet from fear of evil. So ano na siyang inari for dara? The wisdom confided that there would be spiritual safety to those who listen to her. And also, there is true peace to those who listen to, to her. So when, when wisdom calls, respond, listen, accept, don't reject, don't despise. Kabay pa, may pakamakita sa This is the word of God for you today.